I found this at Walmart today. It's a big lamb hair accessories kit. It was on sale for $5 and it was originally $19.97. I've been watching a lot of Nerdy Crafter do a lot of um, kit reviews and so I think they're a lot of fun to watch. Um, I'm not going to go out and buy a whole bunch of kits and try them myself but I just saw this one and I thought it was something that I would enjoy. I do like to wear a lot of headbands. I'm not saying that I would wear things like this on a daily basis, but I just think this would be fun. I will also say that I am not a fan of glitter. It gets everywhere and I just don't like glitter. So I decided that I'm going to make the unicorn hat. And it's kind of confusing because there's so many pieces and they're not labeled. So I'm not completely sure I have everything that I need for this project. I guess I'll figure it out as I go. Obviously this is the hat. I know that this goes with this craft for sure. And it looks like this stuff right here all goes to the unicorn. So I'm going to... Okay, so I, I started doing number one, sewing the eyes. And so it shows you the steps. And so... This obviously is that little guy. This is this one. So these all were in a stack together. This does not look like that. So something to that effect. And something that makes this even weirder is that there's only one eye. You don't have materials for two eyes. And I was looking right here and it shows you a needle with string and I was freaking out because I didn't see any needle and string but it was in a big bag buried underneath things so you have string and you have a needle which is great because I don't have either one of these things with all my other craft supplies. I have plenty of paint but I'm not into sewing and things like that so I would not have had this if it wasn't provided in this kit. So I was talking about this white eye. I did find this and it kind of looks like the same shape but why would it be over here in this and not with the others unless it's glittery and they don't want glitter on everything. But like I said there's so many supplies and nothing is labeled. It's very confusing. Okay so there's a bag right here and it had all this stuff in it and I did find another eye set buried in there so now I have two eyes but I can't find another piece that looks like this though so I'm still very confused okay so I have them stacked up and now I'm ready to sew them and I went ahead and took the glitter oval shape out because that flower pattern just didn't make sense to me. And then I looked right here and it says make sure the glitter side is on top. So I guess that is the piece that you were supposed to use. Okay, so I went back through with the black. And um, I'm not a person who sews or does anything with ribbon. So I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to tie it. So I'm just stuck it through on the back and I'm going to knot it together and hope that works well enough because I don't know what I'm doing. It took me a long time but one eye is finally finished and that is how I tied it in the back. This might be a very long night doing this project. Um, I was getting very irritated with the string because it kept unraveling which is a huge pain. Okay so I'm done with both of the eyes. The backs don't look that great, but whatever. And so I'm done with this first row. And so it says sew in the ears. And so it says to make sure that this is the front and the glittery sides is the back. And this goes right here. And you fold it over. But I don't know what color string to use because you only get black and white. So I'm thinking the logical thing to do is to go with white. So here are the two ears. Um... The pink part, when you sewed it to the white, that was an easy part. It was just like the eyes. You go up and down, up and down, and then I just tied it in the back. 
and then it tells you to fold it over and that was extremely hard like I felt like I didn't have enough hands for that because I had to hold the the needle in one hand try to bend this over and it does not want to bend over it wants to pop back and be flat and like this one <laughs> I finally I messed up on it so I finally was just like whatever it's gonna be close enough so this one I think I did it correctly this one just looks very odd but I'm over it okay so the next step step three and I'm pretty sure I've been at this for at least an hour now so the step three is sewing the horn um, I'm kind of over all the sewing like I said I'm, I'm not a big fan of sewing it makes me very frustrated and stressed out um, so hopefully the horn will be easy since I've done the eyes and the, the horn, or the ears, sorry. I've done the eyes and the ears, and so hopefully the horn will be fast and simple. And unlike the ears, hopefully it will bend and everything will be okay. And I find the right pieces for the horn. I think this piece right here is the horn. So I was looking at the instructions some more, and I guess this piece is supposed to be like that. And then I was also looking, if you look really closely, it does show you how to knot the, the string. I'm just too silly to realize that that's what they were showing you. But I mean, I'm still kind of iffy about that because I feel like the holes in some places are so big that I feel like that might just pop on through. So I'm just kind of happy with the way I tied it. It's not the prettiest. So I've encountered another issue. Maybe I'm just not understanding this. So I did this step and then it looks like you fold it and it says take the needle and push it into the top hole on the opposite side line up both rolls of ho holes and use tape along the edge begin to stitch the horn together well first of all my tape wouldn't stick and so I tried a different way of just holding it but then my problem becomes my needles way down here and I have to push it through it's like I can't get it I have to break it apart so it's just looking kind of funky so like I said I don't know if it's just me or if this is just not well thought out I don't know so I lined up the holes and I pushed it through and you see what I'm saying like you have the string down there and I can't really poke it through the next hole because my hand can't fit in there but if I put it up here I have to like break it apart to make the string go back up here. So I'm just kind of confused. How is this supposed to work? So now we have the unicorn horn. Okay, step four is knotting the hat. So here's the hat folded over and so now I just need to double knot this and this does feel very soft. I love the way that it feels but I am kind of confused because it does show that you add this color to it. So I only have these two little bitty things of it and it goes from here to down here and it's like it skips every other one. And I don't see any more in this package, and I feel like that is not going to go very far at all. So, huh, I don't, I'm confused. That does not look like enough at all, and there's nothing else that looks like this. There's also some pink, I guess, but I mean it's the same color, I don't... <laughs> There's some black, but that doesn't make sense because down here it looks like you're knotting that. And it looks like you need... Oh wait, I think this is for that. Oh wow, this is confusing. 
Because right here, look, it says to double knot the fleece, and it looks like they are knotting it. And then right here, it says Tay Blue felt strips. Oh. Maybe that's what these are for. Ooh, it's all glittery, too. I bet that's what these are for. Never mind, silly me. But it'd help out a lot if everything was labeled. Come on. But I will say this, though. If you look at this picture of this hat, it looks nothing like the material, the materials that it gives you. Because, like, the ears and even the horn don't look glittery. Um, these blue pieces don't look glittery, so... It's just like, it's a different material, and I don't really understand that at all. And even the one on the back looks the same way. It doesn't look like the things that I have in my box. Okay, so I double knotted these up here, just like the directions say. Um, you're supposed to put these on next. I'm not sure entirely how you're supposed to do it. I don't know if you just... It looks kind of like you wrap it around and tie it, but to me that doesn't make sense unless you're supposed to stick it through there, but then it makes this big glittery mess. I just wish it wasn't glittery, and I'm not entirely sure I even want to add these, so I might just skip that step, sew on the horn, sew on the eyes, and the ears add whatever you call this thing right here and just be done with it. I've been working on this for a long time. So I finally finished it. The ears are just kind of wobbly and weird but other than that I think it looks pretty decent. 